820-2915 board and this is 2011 uh, MacBook Pro 15 inch, the graphic chip problem. You can see this lines going, not straight lines, but this is graphic chip problem. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna be doing the GPU bypass, but also I will try to do uh, the native uh, brightness control. I'm gonna try to make the brightness work with the gpu bypass it was appointed to me by peter newman and uh, and this is the guy who actually he has a video on it and uh, and and actually he's he wrote a post on uh, on uh, uh let me see on advanced reworks website and this is the this is the video and this is the name of the person Arda Ilmas so I'm gonna try to replicate uh, his work here and see if it's gonna be a success so uh, let's start all right so I got the board out I removed the cover from PCH and I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna dig into it and I already tried uh, on my uh, donor board right here as you can see and I'm gonna show it to you. And this is the this is the the dig out I did on my donor board. So uh, hopefully I can replicate that on my project board. But uh, give me one second. Okay, where is it? Okay, it's right here. Okay, it's right there. There's a little pin. So uh, and uh, this is the. Uh, this is the actual the NC LVDS IG uh, backlight power management pin. It's actually the ball under the PCH, and uh, and the the location of it is actually right here on the post of uh, on that uh, advanced rework reworks website. And it, this is the exact location. And this location, just to be sure. Yeah, uh, so you don't mess up. This is not one of those green pins like here, here. This is not. This is not that pin. It's actually a little, a little bit higher. And uh, and actually, what I found out when I was digging my uh, when I was digging my uh, donor board, it's actually it's going straight by this line. This is like a, a little line. So it goes straight in that direction. It's right here and right below this capacitor. So this is like a kind of mark marking point, but this is not that green thing. It not the green point. It's a little bit higher, as you can see. So, uh, so let's dig. Uh, just to be clear, I'm gonna show it to you on this uh, on my project board. So uh, I marked it a little bit. A little, I made a little scratch, so you can see this is this is the approximate location. I think this it's the pin is uh, about there. Uh, let me. Point it to you. Oops. Don't move, don't move. Okay, it's right there where I pinpointed it. Right there. You can see the little point. It's right there. Okay. Okay, my digging progress. So basically, it goes the green layer first, then the ground layer, and uh, there's another uh, clear layer. So it's under clear layer. So don't. Uh, don't be afraid to dig. All right, digging along. Okay, I got a little too brave on this one and then covered another uh, trace, but uh, it's okay. It happens. We're gonna cover it with UV mask anyway, so because I, I wanted to cover the ground and that pin, that that trace is UV mask. So we have only the 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 pin we need to work with, cause uh, I believe my uh, micro pencil is not micro enough, so I don't want to ground it. So uh, let's get to it. Okay, guys, I had the contacts covered with UV mask, and the only disposed uh, contact is the one we need and uh, i got it cured already so it's uh, it's ready to be soldered and uh, for this 
for this project I'm going to be using this uh, insulated wire uh, or the, the iPhone, iPhone wire actually is 0.02 millimeter uh, let's see how it goes okay so I ended up using the thicker wire uh, just because uh, I thought that that wire for the iPhone would be too fragile for this for this job and um, basically I uh, I put UV mask to hold the wire in place in that position cured it and then cut uh, the slot from the side of the pin and um, I touched up the the pin inside of that the one we needed and also the end of the wire I touched the end of the wire with some uh, with some solder so uh, so moving along okay after several tries I was able to make a solid connection with the point in the wire uh, it was not easy it took me a couple tries basically to for the solder to flow properly and to make a a nice connection and uh, once again this is the wire uh, I ended up using it's uh, 0 0.1 millimeter wire and this wire is uh, insulated so I can I can basically run it for the board it's not gonna conduct electricity and um, let's let's go ahead and connect the other end to another uh, Location that we need to connect it to, and that's that would be the. Uh, let me see which one is it. It is the LCD backlight power management. So, uh, moving along. Okay, so uh, I have the programmer connected. File loaded. one with power management and let's go ahead and program it so it failed try again so I think the checksum mismatch. Okay, I removed the L2406 and let's see if we have a successful flash now. Yep, so now it is successful. So it was uh, uh, the L2406 that was given us issue. So uh, let's put it back and uh, put this back in enclosure and test it out. Okay, so we have our board installed. It's running right now. As you can see, High Sierra. The graphic chip is gone and we have brightness control it actually works so let me see let me check this is unturnable on the light the automatic ad uh, brightness adjustment is working as you can see it's going down it's hard to see uh, on the screen but it's actually is working pretty good I think my phone is adjusting to this brightness and same thing with this 
this case is going up and going down so it is definitely working so this is a successful project very good uh, will I be doing it on every logic board I don't think so this is pretty labor intensive but uh, I know that it can be done and this is really great and thank you very much uh, for Peter Newman to, for pointing me to this video and huge thanks to uh, Arda Ilmas for uh, for making this happen I really appreciate it thank you very much thank you for watching